Police headquarters. Hold the wire, please. Detective Bureau, Captain MacArthur. Uh, this is Harris Withers, president of the Merchant's Bank. Yes? What can we do for you, Mr. Withers? There's a man here trying to cash a bogus check for $10,000. He's there now, you say? Yes. Well, stall him. I'll get a man right over. Very well, Captain. Hey, Captain, grab a short call, Carl Powers, and beat it over to the Merchant's Bank. There's a man over there right now trying to cash a hot check for $10,000. Wow, 10000 Get going. All right. All right, Joe, pull up here. Stick out here in front of the bank in case the guy makes a break for it. Okay, Frank. I'll be right out with a customer trying to cash a hot check for ten grand. That's a good one. You're the man from headquarters? Yeah. Where's this check passer? Right over there at the window. A right. man leaning against the counter with a small bag in his hand. I see him. Come on. All right, buddy. You're under arrest. Arrest? For what? You know for what. But I haven't done anything. No? I suppose it's all right to try passing hot checks if you're too lazy to make an honest living. But I'm not passing hot checks. There must be some mistake. Oh, there's a mistake, all right. And you made it trying to slip the bank a bad check. Come on, come on. Wait a minute. I work for the Davis Construction Company. This is a regular payroll check. It's cashed here every week. Oh, what about this, Mr. Withers? And the man's wrong, officer. The Davis payroll check was cashed about 30 minutes ago. When the teller had the other check presented to him, he called me and I called you. What? Why, I just left the office. I'm sure there was no other check made out. Say, wait a minute. There's something screwy here. Got an office we can use for a minute, Mr. Withers? Why, certainly. You can use mine. Right over here. All right. Come along, buddy. If you can prove that you're an employee of the Davis Construction Company, somebody has pulled a fast one. All right, Mr. Davis, we're still at the bank. Yeah. All right, I'll see what I can do about it. Well, are you satisfied? Yes. You're the authorized bearer, all right, but uh, who was this other man who beat you here? You got me there, officer. Uh, uh, Mr. Withers. Yes? I'd like to see the check that your teller cashed and ask him to write out a detailed description of the man who brought it in. All right, I'll get it for you. Uh, this an outside phone? Uh, yes, a dial O. Uh-huh. Give me uh, police headquarters. Let her sit down, buddy, until I report this thing. Uh, hello, uh, give me Captain MacArthur. Hello, Captain. Powers. Now, the, uh, the fellow I came over to pinch was the real McCoy. I don't know yet. I'll phone the description as soon as I get it, but uh, you might get the radio going for a guy with ten grand and a little black bag. Uh, okay, Captain. Here's the check. Uh, good. Uh, let me see the real one. Here it is. Hmm. Neat work. Yeah. Take an expert to tell him apart. Now, uh, what's this paper? Why, that's the money requisite which came with the check. Tells how they want the money. Hmm. Is this uh, requisite the same as the one your company made out, fella? Let's see. Yes, it's identical. Yeah. Well, this job was done by an expert. Somebody who planned it for weeks. Who had it all the information he needed. Yes, sir, we've got a tough job on our hands. Well, we'll do our best. Looks like you'll have to give it up, Powers. You've been working on it for three weeks now. I'm making one last stab, Captain. What's that? Well, you know, I've uh, maintained all along that this hot check was the work of an expert. Yeah? A man who's passed plenty of them in his time. That's right. Now, I've got it figured out that this fellow wouldn't risk cashing the check himself, so he probably got a dupe to do it for him. You know, a guy who wouldn't know the check was hot. Mm, well, it sounds reasonable. How would he get in touch with a man like that? Well, that's just it. He'd advertise. Yeah? yeah. See these clippings? Yes? I've cut every advertisement that might be hot from all papers for a month before the forgery. 
I've got a hunch that one of these ads will lead us to the man who forged that check. You mean you intend to follow up all those leads? Yeah. Lord, man, that'll take you months. Nevertheless, it's all we have to go on. Well, if you want to wear your shoes out, it's up to you. Go to it, but I think you're wasting your time. Mr. Martin, uh, did you ever have a man living here who put this ad in the paper? Uh, that ad? Uh. Uh, let me see. Yeah, yeah, there was a man living here who put that ad in the paper. Uh, a kind of a German-looking fella. Oh, well, what was his name? Uh, oh, well, let me see. Yeah, his name was, uh, Schaefer. Schaefer, huh? Is he, uh, is he in now? No, 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 he... Left here, uh, oh, I'd say about a month ago. Yeah. The uh, newspaper clipping advertises for a clerk. Uh, do you know if this Schaefer ever hired his man? Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he did. Uh, nice young fella, too. Only thing I didn't like about him was that he spent his spare time at the pool parlor around the corner. Uh, do you remember his name? Well, uh, I, uh, well, no, 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 but uh, I see him going in and out of the pool parlor occasionally. You do, huh? Yeah. Now, uh, Mr. Martin, uh, could you tell me what this young man looks like? I'd like uh, to have a nice little talk with him. <laughs> Two bits, you don't make it. You're on. Okay, uh... <laughs> there you are. Eight ball in the side pocket. Yeah. Pretty good shot, aren't you, young fella? Oh, fair. I'm better on Saturday. Uh-huh. I'd uh, like to talk to you for a minute. Mm, sorry, buddy. This is a big game. So is my game. Here, take a squint at this. I'm an officer. Oh, that's different. Now, take my cue, will you, Red? Sure. Suppose we step outside. All right. Hey, what's wrong? Now, uh... What's your name? Anderson. Wilbur Anderson. Mm -hmm. Ever worked for a fellow named Schaefer? Yeah. Well, what did you do for him? Handled his correspondence, ran errands. Mm -hmm. Ever cash any checks for him? Yeah, several. Big checks? Yes. Why? Did you uh, cash one for $10,000 at the Merchant's Bank about a month ago? Yeah. Say, wish you'd let me in on this. I will. You know where Schaefer is now? No. He gave me two weeks' advance pay and let me go. Uh, when was this? About a month ago. Right after you cashed the check for 10000 huh? Yes. Why? Hmm. Well, it looks like you'll miss your game on Saturday, Anderson. You'd better come down to headquarters with me. That check you cashed was forged. <laughs> I'm convinced the kid didn't know anything about this, Captain. He thought Schaefer was on the up and up. Uh, what did you get on Schaefer? Nothing. We have no one in our records who answers to his description. Anderson says that Schaefer received some letters addressed to uh, Count von Braun. The name is probably a phony, too, but it might be worth checking up. Von Braun? Yeah. Hmm. Wait a minute. There was a Count von Braun reported in the papers as sailing for Germany tomorrow. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe I'd better look into this, Count. All right, but go easy. Remember, if he's a real count, we wouldn't dare throw him in the jug. Oh, I don't know. A count's no better than anybody else these days. Uh, where is that camera the homicide men left in here? Over there in the cabinet. Why? Well, I'm uh, making an investigation of all the hotels. I figure I might need it. Well, so long, Captain. I'm going big game hunting with a camera. <laughs> Count von Braun? Yes, he's registered here. Uh, that's him right over there with the lady in fur. Thanks. Uh, Count von Braun? Yes. I'm uh, Powers with the Chronicle. I'd like a picture of you and the Countess. Oh, no, my man. Sorry. No pictures. Uh, sorry, Count. Too late now. Thanks. <laughs> Hope you have a nice journey. Oh, he's American newspaper, man. They drive one crazy. <laughs> <laughs> What did he say? Uh, 
It's all finished, Captain. Anderson identified this picture of Count Von Braun as that of Schaefer, for whom he worked. He did? Yeah. That means that this Count Von Braun is a fake, and that he's the same guy who slipped the hot check over on Merchant's Bank. Uh, I told you we'd get him. Well, I'm not so sure of that. I see where the Columbia's sailing four hours early. I doubt if you can make it. Oh, don't worry about me, Captain. I'm on my way. Hold it. Here, throw me a rope. That's good. Uh, here we are. What's up? Don't stop me now. Where's the purser? Uh, this way. Uh, wait a minute. It won't be necessary after all. Here's the man I'm looking for. Uh, hello, Count. What? I'm uh, Powers from headquarters. I'm sorry, but you're under arrest for forgery. What? That's a lie. Maybe it is, but just a... Hey, wait, hey, wait a minute. Oh, no, you don't. Come back here. Hey, stop him. Don't let that man jump. Stop him. And overboard! You're wrong, buddy. Make it two men overboard. Police headquarters. Okay, Powers. Hello, Tim. Send a car to pick Officer Powers and a prisoner up at Pier 47. And uh, take some blankets. They've been in swimming. Police headquarters. 